Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Patrick, and welcome to my guide to the quest Monkey Madness on RuneScape 3. If you do this on Old School RuneScape, I have a guide for that as well. Link description below. On screen right now is everything you need to prepare yourself for this quest. The green text is stuff you really need, and the white text are just things I recommend, as well as how to get the items that you need. Most of this should be pretty self explanatory, so feel free to pause if you need it, as I'm going to get into the quest now. This video is brought to you by the awesome members of my Patreon. If you want access to some exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Enjoy the video, everyone. To start the quest, go to the Grand Tree. You can get there by using Spirit Trees or Gnome Glider to a Gnome Stronghold. You can get easy access to a Gnome Glider if you can get to Al Karid. The Glider is in the northwest corner of the city. Speak to King Narno Shireen and accept the quest to receive the Royal Seal. Right click the ladder and select top floor. Click on Captain Urdu to use the glider and select Gandius at the bottom. That's Karamja. Head west. Turn north and walk along the shoreline until you see another fence, then look for the gate to enter. Attempt to open the gate, finish the dialogue, and they'll eventually let you in. Go to the building to the south. Speak to GLO Karanak. Head back to Gnome Glider. Click on Captain Clemfudo to use the glider and select the top left location, that's the Grand Tree. Right click the ladder and select bottom floor. Speak to the king to receive Narnold's orders. Climb up the ladder one floor. Head southeast to the bar. Find Dayro and select options 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 1, or refer to what's written on screen. Once again, the options are 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4, 1. You should be sent to the hangar, which is this place. In here, speak to Dayro again. Speak to Wadar and select option 4. Where's the reinitialization code? You go a bit south and click on this reinitialization panel thing. You'll be presented with a 5x5 five five slider puzzle. You can solve this on your own, in which case I'll put the solution up on screen. And you can pause the video or you can pay 200k to have it solved for you. To do that, head to the very south end of the room where you should find a teleportation device. Operate it to go back to Gnome Stronghold. Go to ladder just southeast of Grand Tree. Climb the ladder. Speak to Gloth and select option 1 for every chat option to pay him to 200k to solve the puzzle.
climb down the ladder, go north to where the king is. Climb up the ladder one floor. Head southeast to the bar. Speak to Dayro and select option one. Yes, please return to the hangar. Go south and click on the panel. One piece will be out of place, which should be the piece in the bottom right corner. Just click on that to push it into place to solve the puzzle. If done correctly, you will get a cutscene. Speak to Dayro. Speak to Wadar and select option one for yes to travel to an island. Speak to Lumdo by the boat. Speak to Wadar once. Speak to Wadar again and select option 4. I cannot convince Lumbo to take us to the island. You will now be on an island known as Apatol. You're going to go towards a yellow marker and you want to be using Protect from Melee at almost all times on this island if possible with the exception of the area circle in yellow. Once you reach the area circle in yellow or you get close to it, you want to switch to Protect from Range or Missiles. Things will poison you here by the way, so take your poison protection at your own discretion. When you reach the yellow area, you're going to switch to protect from missiles because you'll be attacked by a bunch of monkey archers. Just walk as far as you can and they'll eventually knock you out and throw you in jail. That's supposed to happen. I'm going to teach you now how to escape from jail. If you don't know and or if you've never done this quest before, it is important that you pay attention to this as I'm only going to explain this once and you will end up in here a few times throughout the quest. Sometimes on purpose, possibly by accident if you mess up on anything. You might even want to watch the next minute or two in the video before doing this yourself because once you get out, you're also going to want to know where you're going next. Get closer the cell door but not right next to it there should be at least one space between you and the door because if you get too close the gorilla will knock you back and stun you there are two gorillas here but only one gorilla will patrol the area at a time basically you'll walk a bit past your cell door then back to that big area in the northwest corner where the other gorilla is so they can switch the best time to escape is either when they switch or when they're a bit past your cell you just gotta make sure they're not blocking your path and they're not looking at you the really tricky part to this in my opinion is trying to time this along with getting out of your cell because when you pick the lock to the cell door and attempt to escape you won't always succeed keep in mind if you fail enough times you might miss your window to escape so you might have to wait it out once outside you should turn on protect from melee immediately and go to the grassy area just north of the building then head towards the area shown by a yellow marker while moving around on this island you want to try your best to stay in the tall grassy areas to avoid being seen it won't always be possible but if you have to run out of a grassy area just you know run fast there are monkey archers you need to watch out for they won't knock you out but they can hit you for a lot so when they start attacking you you can switch to protect from missile real quick sometimes a monkey guard will be alerted to your presence in which case he'll spawn in and try to chase you down this one can knock you out and throw you back in jail so do not try to fight it as soon as you see it i would recommend logging out or hopping worlds before it attacks you which should cause it to despawn or if you think you can make it try to hide inside a building where you know it get stuck on something so it can't attack you this is optional but you want to get the other type of grigris to free king of wogi and recipe for disaster or if you just want them in general you can take this opportunity to attack one of the monkey archers and pick up their bones. Speak to Garkor.
go west to this building shown by a yellow marker. Remember, try to stay in the tall grassy areas if possible. There's a door there you must use to get into this building. If one of those monkeys I mentioned earlier start chasing you, quickly entering this building through the door will get it stuck. This has saved me numerous times from the other times I've done this quest. Once inside the building though, stay on the darker brown parts of the floor around the edges or else you'll get caught and run around to the double stack crate to the north and it's on the lighter part of the floor but you can stand in the dark spot right behind it. Search the crate which should have monkey dentures in it and select option 1 yes to get one. Go to the crate in the southeast corner, heal yourself to full HP because you'll take some damage here. Search the crate and select option 1 yes I'm sure. A little spider might attack you which will close out the options menu. You could either try to get stuck on something or kill and do it quickly because it also does respawn fast. Once down here go in the northwest corner. Search this crate here directly south across from the stalagmite which should have monkey amulet molds. Select option 1 yes to get one. You are going to teleport out and make your way back to the boat that brought you to Apatol. Unfortunately teleporting out is the only way to do this. You can't just walk there. I'm going to explain my travel method once but basically how I do this is to use a teleport that will get me to or near Alcarid. You can use the lodestone or a ring of dueling to head to Oasis. From wherever you're coming from go to Gnome Glider in the northwest corner of Alcarid. You can also take this opportunity to restock on supplies at the bank if you need to. Just don't get rid of anything you already obtained. Take the gnome glider to a grand tree. It's the option in the top left. Climb down two floors using the ladder. Go southeast to the bar. Speak to Zero and select option one. Yes, please. Speak to Wadar and select option 1, yes. Speak to Lumdo to go to Apatol. Turn on Protect from Melee if you have it, and this time you're going to head just a bit west to the dungeon entrance with the ladder. Climb down the ladder and you'll be in a very long tunnel. Good thing is it's pretty straightforward so you probably don't even need this map but you have to go through it all the way to the end. Try to keep on protect from melee at all times as there are many enemies here that attack you using melee. You can still get hurt from traps on the floor but it's not really a big deal if you brought some food. Anyways feel free to pause if you want as I'm moving on to the next part now. Once you reach the end of the tunnel, you can turn off your prayer, speak to Zunok, select option 1 to ask what do we need for the monkey amulet. Use your gold bar on Zunok to give it to him, then do the same thing with the monkey dentures and M amulet mold. Once you give him the last item, continue the dialogue to receive an enchanted gold bar and the mold back. Also, while you're here, right click your monkey bones so you don't bury them. The regular monkey bones, not the ones from the monkey archer you killed if you did that. And choose to use the regular monkey bones on Zunok. If you just accidentally bury them, you will have another opportunity to do this. Just have another set of bones on standby and don't make that mistake again. Regardless, you're once again going to teleport out and make your way back to Apatol. This time, you actually could have gone through a tunnel, but that's just a necessary pain in my opinion. Once you're on the island, you're going to head towards the gate and get yourself thrown in jail again. Remember to turn on protect from melee heading towards the gate and when you get close to that area right outside the gate, switch to protect from missiles.
escape from jail and go to the south end of the big building to the east. Make sure to have protect from melee on once you're out. Climb up the ladder. Once again, this is optional, but you can take this opportunity to kill one of the gorillas and pick up their bones for this Grigri as well. Go northeast to another ladder. Climb down that ladder to be put in front of a trap door. Open and climb down the trap door. Use the enchanted bar on the wall flame to create an M speak amulet. Use the ball of wool on it to string it. Climb the rope to the south. You can use the ladders to get around the gorillas like before, or you can just head straight west out of the building. The main issue here is that you just can't walk through them. Head to the building to the west shown by a yellow marker. Wear your monkey speak amulet. This specific spot I'm standing in is the furthest you can go for the next part while being safe. So remember this, you're going to be waiting here for a bit. You'll be safe around the red monkey knife fighters, by the way, just don't speak to them. Watch what I do before you do it. So there's a series of steps that you have to complete for this next part. I wrote all of it on screen so you can refer to it whenever, but basically you have to do all this while avoiding the monkey's aunt. She's the other monkey that's walking around a circle. She can get you thrown back in jail if she catches you. So basically you want to do these steps while she's away from the property, then run back into the hiding spot when she returns and wait for her to leave again. If you do it fast enough, you should be able to complete about two of these steps at a time before she returns. After completing the step of giving the monkey child the bananas, you have to wait for the aunt to pass by one more time. This part is mandatory regardless whether you see her nearby or not because she needs to give something to the child. Once she passes through and she's gone, speak to the monkey child one last time, who should give you a monkey talisman. If he doesn't, you may have missed one of the steps that I wrote down, or you may have to wait for her to pass by again. This is optional, but if you want to get the other Grigris, you actually have to get three more of those talismans. You have to speak to the monkey child again and select option two, I've lost that toy you gave me. Wait for the aunt to pass by again, and when it's clear, speak to the monkey child again and select option two, wow, can I borrow it? Then okay, I promise. Repeat those steps until you have a total of four talismans. Teleport out and return to the boat in Apatol once again. You will need those monkey bones now if you did not give them the Zunok earlier. These are the regular monkey bones I'm talking about, by the way. They're actually required for the quest, not the optional ones I told you about during the video. Once back on Ape Atoll, turn on Protect from Melee and head a bit west towards the dungeon. Climb down the ladder and here's a map of the tunnel again. Feel free to pause if you need it as I'm moving on to the next part. By the way, on the way to Zunak, you encounter numerous zombie monkeys, which are the green ones. You can kill those to get their bones for the Grigri. Once again, it is optional. If you still need to give him the monkey bones, right click them to use them on Zunok, then use the monkey talisman on him, and continue that dialogue to get a cutscene and an item called a Grigri. If you buried your monkey bones, I don't know what to tell you this time, uh, you're going to have to get another one and come back here. It's for the Grigri, which you absolutely need now. You might have to speak to him first and select the option about making the monkey talisman. For last time, this is optional, but to get the other Grigris, for each Grigri, you speak to Zunok and select option 2, can you make another monkey talisman, then option 1, yes, right click one of the set of bones to use it on him, then use one of the monkey talismans on him, finish the dialogue to get that Grigri, repeat that for each Grigri that you want.
Once you have the Grigory though, head to the RD Zoo. Once in the Artie Zoo, click on the monkey Grigri to hold it and turn it into a Karamja monkey. Speak to the monkey minder and it will throw you in the cage thinking you're a monkey that escaped. Speak to any monkey that has an option for you to speak to it and it will go into your inventory. Take off your Grigri to turn back into a human and speak to the monkey minder again so he'll let you out. You now have to travel back to Grand Tree by foot. You're not allowed to use any means of transportation or else you'll lose the monkey in your inventory. Climb up the ladder, go up one floor, and return to Ape Atoll the same way you did before. Hold your Grigri to turn into a monkey again, and you can now freely travel through the island without being attacked by anything. Go back to Garcor. Do not try to get yourself thrown in jail as a shortcut. You will lose the monkey that way. As a monkey, you are allowed to get close to the gate now and you can just open it. Speak to Garcor. Go to the south end of this building and speak to the Elder Guard. Head west to his area of the island shown by yellow marker.
climb up the ladder and cross the bridge to the east. Climb down the ladder on the other side. Find the biggest monkey here with the swords named Kruk and speak to him. You should be inside this building now. Speak to a Wawogi twice. He's the monkey sitting on the throne. You'll give him the monkey. Speak to the elder guards at South to get out of here. Speak to Garcor to get a cutscene. Speak to Garcor again to get I'm going to call it 10 Squad Sigil. Teleport out to get anywhere near a bank. You can bank everything and you will need to prepare for a fight. The only item they need to keep is a 10 squad sigil in your inventory. Also, don't wear any kind of amulet or necklace, but you can bring the rest of your gear and, you know, other typical combat stuff, potions, food, whatever. I highly recommend using magic or range because if you keep your distance and use protect from magic, you can prevent a lot of the damage. Uh, you should stuff some food though. I don't recommend using melee for this at all. Also have an emergency teleport, ideally one that'll help you get to the Grand Tree because that's also where the next step takes place. When you're ready for the fight, wear the 10 squad sigil and select option 1, yes, to be teleported to the fight. Immediately turn on protect from magic and just fight the jungle demon. It's a straightforward fight. Once the fight's over, speak to Garcor. Return to the king of the grand tree. Have four free inventory spaces and speak to King Narno Shireen. Technically, that's going to end the quest, but there is an additional reward. Beware, this additional reward gives you XP and attack, defense, strength, and HP. You do not get to pick and choose what skills you want XP in. If you want it, go up one floor. Head southeast to the bar. Speak to Dayro, select option 1, I'm to be enrolled in a Royal Guard training program and it will give you the option to gain more XP in either both strength and HP or attack and defense. You will still receive XP in all those skills, what you're picking is just the one you get more XP in. It's 35k each for the ones you pick and 20k each in the one you didn't pick. Just finish up all the dialogue to receive the XP. Anyways, hope you found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for future videos to come if you haven't already. There are also a link in the description below for my Patreon, donation link, Twitter, Discord where you can interact with me. Donations can also be made directly through YouTube now. Thanks option near like button below the video. Anyways, catch you later. Peace.